Hey guys, well, an absolute tragedy. And today, eight-year-old Genesis Dockery was laid to rest. Her funeral happening today across town here in Fayetteville. But now her family and friends are also shifting their attention to what happened here where she was being babysat. They now want answers in this case. Two weeks after eight-year-old Genesis Dockery was killed, the loss is still hitting this neighborhood hard. I got kids of my own, so it's, it's really, really a sad situation. But the initial wave of grief and condolences has now turned into a fight for justice. A family friend was babysitting Genesis when she was shot in the head by her babysitter's 11-year-old son. She later died at the hospital. That investigation is still ongoing, but family and friends want answers, specifically how a child got a hold of a gun. Why was the fire unreachable? You know, for an 11 year old to be able to reach a firearm, that's very bad. But sadly, it's something all too common across the country and here in North Carolina. Data shows over the last eight years, there have been 49 accidental gunshots involving children in North Carolina, 19 of them ending up fatal. An attorney representing the family is echoing those same concerns and says, depending on what the investigation finds, the babysitter could also be held accountable. As to the degree of liability, they can be imputed or placed on the guardian or the supervisor for not doing their, carried out their duty of, of, of supervising and watching the child properly. Now, just to be clear, no charges in this case have been filed either against the 11 year old child or the babysitter herself. Now, we did try to reach out to the babysitter to get her side of the story. Uh, we did reach a family friend who said that the babysitter had been advised not to speak to the media, but that friend did say uh, she believes there are two sides to every story and that this was simply a tragic accident. But again, we don't know any of the details of this case at this point, how that 11 year old managed to get that gun in the first place. That is all part of that investigation. Uh, so far, the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office says that investigation is continuing tonight. Reporting live, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.